So it's been kind of a while uh, since I've been able to do anything to the truck because I'm stuck waiting on parts. Uh, I hoped to have an engine here a few weeks ago, but it's not in yet. So I figure what I'll do while it's nice out. So I'm going to uh, pressure wash the frame. You can see when I first bought it, um, I pressure washed right here and did not pressure wash right here, just to kind of see how much it stripped off. Um, I don't know the colors are like a little bit blown out of the camera, but there's quite a difference. This is, you know, more metallic rusted color, and this is like a it's sort of covered in like a thick uh, green film. But the whole truck is just absolutely coated in. So what I'm going to do is pressure wash all that off, and then I'm going to take a grinder to some of the inside spots here. You see, there's like a little bit of scale over here. There's a few spots with like a little bit of scale on it, like that. Not really heavy stuff, just and inside there too. I'm gonna take a wire brush to them and get that knocked off. And then I'm going to paint the whole thing black. Oh, this is really nice already. And uh, hopefully that helps preserve it. I mean, it's been fine for, what, 65 years, I think? So hopefully with another little bit of TLC and such, should be fine for maybe another 65 or, yeah, if there you can see there's a lot of moss and growth and stuff on it. So I'll put you guys back in the stand and hopefully I'll be able to get some shots of this uh, change in color, you know, without soaking my camera.
So now that it's all pressure washed off, uh, I'm ready to start a little bit of the cleaning. I got some trim clad paint, um, brush on stuff. So if you're in the States, I think it's also sold under the Rust-Oleum brand name. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna touch it all up with that really quickly. Um, I've used, I've tried other products in the past. Like uh, I did my last truck there, my Colorado. I did the whole frame in POR15, 415. And that's uh, oh, right around $89 Canadian quart, which is ooh, crazy expensive. Um, and it didn't hold up very well. I found that this trim clad holds up at least as well, if not better than the, uh, the POR15. And you don't have to put a sealer on it too, which is nice. So I'm just gonna go on ahead with this. Oh, and this is only, geez, 52-ish Canadian, a gallon. So this is way cheaper and it goes on much nicer. Yeah, I really don't understand the hype around 4 15. Like I said, I have tried it. It's not just the price that makes me angry, it's the results. It all, uh, it almost all washed off. And as soon as I got any little bit of brake fluid or uh, transmission fluid on it, I ended up with big bare spots. I did not care for that at all. Hopefully this holds up a little bit nicer. I mean, this frame has already held up for 65 years. Um, totally uncoated. It did pretty well. So hopefully this gets us, you know, at least another 20 or more out of it. That'd be nice. We also notice that I'm putting it on quite thick, um, <laughs> and that I'm getting some runs as a result. But that's fine. You know, this first off is never going to be a show truck. This is really just me having a, an excuse to work on something. Um, but also, you know, the thicker it is, at least in my mind, the better job it'll do protecting against rust. So that's okay. I'll just let it be on there super nice and thick and, you know, I'll come back probably tomorrow once this is all dry. And I'll put another coat of paint on it. And then maybe one more after that. We'll see how ambitious I'm feeling. But I think probably two paints of this, or two coats of this is fine. Each one of these coats, by the time it's dried, is gonna be maybe two mils thick. And really globbing on there. And uh, I'm not too worried, there's a bunch of wires like this guy on there. I don't care in the least about those wires. They're all coming off of there. Every one of them. The only reason they're on there now is because I just want a reference points for where I need to put my new wires. That's the only purpose. Oh, tell you what, that's better already. We've done some over there too. This is nice. And then, you know, by comparison. So yeah, we'll set you back up where you can see a little bit better and uh, do like a time lapse. happy with how this first coat has turned out. Um, I've only done just from the cab back because that's the most accessible right now for filming. Um, but I'm really happy with it. You know, I'm gonna do the insides. That's the nice thing about these C channels. I can just 
reach right in there and get the inside. It's not like uh, the Boston frames. That truck over there. That guy's got a Boston frame. That's pretty much toast. But these ones are over there. Just so much easier to work with. So I'm going to paint the rest of this guy because God knows my camera battery is not going to last that long. And then I'll bring you back when it's all done. Well, it took me most of the day, but I finally have this whole frame painted. I would say that it took me and my wife about eight, maybe eight and a half hours, uh, cumulatively, man hours, to uh, get this whole thing done up. And my goodness, does it ever look so nice, too. Now, this is just one coat of paint. I will have to put a second coat on uh, sometime before it hits the road, anyway. Let's see, it's all, green is all done. It took, uh, <laughs> it took a lot of work. The only part I haven't done is you see that cross member there, that guy's not done. And I'm not sure if I'm keeping him, um, that was uh, holding up the transmission so it's very likely that that won't be used again, so I didn't bother painting him. But uh, other than a few touch-up spots, oh, and I haven't done this guy yet either, he needs some extra cleaning out. That's pretty much it, I can't get over how much better it looks now. This is the first thing I've done to the truck since I owned it, um, that made it look better instead of worse. And uh, it's got, you know, kind of a big deal, I'd say. Feels really nice. It's kind of the start of putting things back together instead of taking them apart. <sighs> yep. Pretty happy with it.